What is up? I'm Water Turtle, and today we have a very cool Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We are finally opening up our first box of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge, the newest set that just came out. We're going with half of this box to start. Really excited about this. I feel like the... So this is one of those five pack, five cards per pack um, boxes or sets where each pack comes with like a bunch of foils and then one secret and... I feel like sometimes I'm not crazy about these kinds of boxes just because like the fact that it's a secret is kind of irrelevant you still kind of get like you know one or two good secrets per box and so in that respect I'm not crazy about them but when it comes to just having seeing lots of foils ah uh, <laughs> this is where it's at so there's tons of good cards in there so to name some there is the Boral Sword Dragon and Sky Striker, Engage, Al Mirage, Blackluster Soldier, some side frame card, just to name a few. Let's go right into it. We're opening half this box to start. Let's see what we got. Yeah, ooh, okay, so the secret is right on top. TG Gear Zombie. It's a pretty cool looking card. Gingerbread House. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's a funny name. Shadal Hedgehog. Battle Wasp. Arbalus the Rapid Fire, and then Black Dragon Cal Cal Collapse Serpent. Hmm, not sure if I like that one or not. So I will say that the last set that was kind of like this, the Infinity Chasers, really left a bad taste in my mouth. I feel like just the archetypes really didn't interest me, and the on top of that we didn't get great pulls. And here we have a Epiria, some kind of uh, reptile. Number 76, Harmonizer. What the? He's fling. Uh, it's a sword. Keyboard sword. Hmm. Not sure how effective that would be in fighting, but. Ooh, what do we have here? It looks like some kind of spaceship. Herald of the Arclight. Shadal Squamata. And Battle Wasp Nest. But yeah, the whole um, construction equipment <laughs> archetype wasn't that exciting and slash trains and stuff like that so i do think that this one does have a lot more uh cards that i find more exciting interrupted kaiju slumber vision hero gravito apparition sonic stun and luda like kaleido chick excuse me <clears throat> As always, if you do want to support the channel, definitely hit that like button down below. And if you're not already a sub, definitely be sure to hit that sub button on your way. Ooh. Okay, so this was a like a common that got upgraded all the way to a secret um, in uh, Prankatops. And I feel like that's very interesting because like, you know, so I feel like out of the box, like it won't be that the price or the value won't be that high just because like, oh, I can just by the common one but i do think it kind of like raises the bar for what people want to use as far as like you know um as far as like max rarity and stuff like that and i feel like since a lot of times it's the other way around uh but that card was just really good so <laughs> when it got like promoted straight up to the top and all right i am not a fan that the secret is right on top i definitely would prefer if it's on the bottom so we're probably going to do some patricks uh going forward high speedway rubber band shooter what makes this a rubber band shooter? Is this supposed to be like a slingshot spaceship or something? Water of life, shit all beast, gold moon coin, and vision release. All right, so far no big hits. We've still got a good amount of packs left. And uh, in a comment below, let me know how your own polls are going. What do you think of this set? Right now, I'm very optimistic and have an open mind. I forgot to do the back trick again. What do we have here? Fortune Fairy Hikari. Is this uh, like an archetype I'm not familiar with? Hmm. Fortune Fairies. Battle Wasps. There seems to be a bunch of these Battle Wasps, and I've never heard of that deck either. Will of the Solomon Great. That's one I've heard of. Another Battle Wasp. Sting the Poison. So these battle wasps are like tuners, so they're kind of like robot bugs. Interesting. And then fortune fairy chef. Hmm, not crazy about these fortune, these fairies things. Yeah, fortune fairies. All right, so we have to do some kind of trick. Although, yes, okay, at least the we do see the back when we open the cards. So it should be pretty straightforward. It's going to go like this, and let's get into it. TG Metal Skeleton. That looks pretty cool. Vision Hero Trinity, T 
TG Drillfish. Hmm, it's a fish with a drill. Yep, that sounds about right. Subterra Guru got promoted to Ultra Rare from a common. Interesting, from Savage Strike. And then Stardust Mirage. What do we have here? Higher Dragon Synchro Monster. Okay. All right, we're running low on packs. So these, um, for better or for worse, these openings do go pretty quick since there is only five cards. But uh, hey, that just means we're going to go straight, get to the good stuff quicker, I suppose. Another Battle Wasp Synchro. We have Azusa, Azusa, the Ghost Bow. Another Battle Wasp, Twin Bow, the Attacker. Hmm, these Battle Wasps, the art is not that great. Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll. What are we looking at here? It's like some kind of weird bug that kind of like a growth can, <laughs> can't contain it. All right, Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. And then Vision Fusion. So some kind of hero support. All right, looks like we got four packs left. Come on, let's get something good for this opening. All right, Lucky Loan. This looks like Fortune Fairy. This another one. Unacceptable result. Destiny Hero Dangerous. Terrible name. Cool looking card. Uh, Fortune Fairy Sweet. Uh, okay. Oh, baby. There we go, guys. This is the most expensive card in the set, and we get it in our very first opening. Boral Sword Dragon. Wonder if it's very similar to the Boral Load Dragon. Boral Load Savage Dragon. Now we have a Boral Sword. So, very nice. I believe this is a reprint. But, uh... All right, this thing's so far at the top of the value list, and we just pulled it. So there we go. Very successful box right off the bat. Do me a favor, hit that like button on your way out. And we still got three more packs. Let's see if we can't get one more hit. We got a Sky Striker. Mm, I am hoping for some engages. Um, I did um, purchase a number of engages, and so far it's not going so well. <laughs> The price already went down a couple bucks since I bought it. And Symbol Friendship. This thing was so corny, so silly. <laughs> as far as things that draw, they draw a smiley face like that. But then we have, ooh, Five-Headed Dragon. That's a very iconic looking, that's a very iconic card. Just, you know, five dragons. Bring down your 5,000, 5,000. Kind of be short by a battle with Dark Earth. Or, good luck destroying that. Or the monster, at least. All right, two packs left. Let's see what we can do. Luna Light Crimson Fox. Vision Hero. Don't know much about Vision Heroes. Fortune Fairy N. There's a bunch of these Fortune Fairies. Luna Light Kaleido Chick. And then Vision Hero Vion. That one does sound familiar. Is this, this I'm guessing, a reprint? Actually, I think a lot of these are reprints. All right, on to our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Here we go. Uh, I don't think I did that correctly. Right, there we go. Vision Hero Poisoner. White Dragon Wyvern Buster. I believe uh, I heard some talk about this card, but I don't remember what it was about. <laughs> Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Oh, I love anything that's like ice element. So that, yeah, he just looks okay, but I like the idea of it. Absolute Zero. Solomon Great Sanctuary. And oh yes, the Sky Striker engage. Sky Striker mobilize engage. Sky Striker is a very interesting archetype, and this is kind of like, uh, from what I've, what research I have done, this is a very like flex card that you can tech into a lot of different archetypes. So I'm really happy with this. The um, as far as speculation about this card, like I feel like it's kind of gone down since initial launch, but. Uh, I think that you know maybe once uh, things kind of get going again in the competitive scene I wonder if this the price of this card will go back up so a huge opening we got two big hits we got a sky striker mobilize engage and then boom the biggest hit Boral Boral sword dragon there we go that's quite a bit of text I'll leave it right here for a second if you do want to give it a quick read huge pull right there 
and uh whew, so far i'm loving this set <laughs> pulling two of the two of the chase cards right off the bat and uh so that's it for today's opening as always like comment subscribe all down below thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace